So in my last video, I showed you all how to master your double action airbrush. And if you haven't checked out that video, I'm gonna link up to that at the end of this video. So be sure to watch until the end. This video is gonna focus on a technique that I teach all of my students. And this is fundamentally an exercise that you should all practice regularly and it will totally help you master the double action airbrush technique. So go grab your airbrush and let's get into it right now. So for this exercise, what I want you to do is keep the air press down at all times. So make sure you use that double action and then draw four vertical lines. One, two, three, four. And this creates two columns. And then again, keep your air press down, move along and put a line through each of the columns. The key is to keep moving. If you miss one like that, don't worry, just keep going. It's not about trying to get a perfect line. It's more about using that double action, keeping that speed consistent as well as the height and the paint flow. And you can see I'm moving off the side of the page to make it a bit harder. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and do that again from this angle. One, two, three, four, air on at all times, move in, paint on, paint off, paint on, paint off. Now you can see the height that I'm using. Whatever height you decide to go for, try and keep it consistent. You can see I'm using my hand to steady myself. And last one. You can see I'm not stopping even if I miss one. That first one was a bit late, but that's all right. Just keep going. Definitely works your trigger finger, which is what we want. So that's the exercise that I like to call the ladder exercise. And I really, really want you to keep practicing that one on a regular basis. And I can guarantee you it will help your airbrushing considerably. It'll just fine tune that double action technique, which is ever, ever so important. If you want to learn more, you can check out our online airbrushing course at airbrushasylum.thinkific.com. You can also take a look at the video showing you exactly how to master your double action. That's up here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.